so far we have set up our maven server as a slave or agent to our jenkins server now it's time to create our first job nothing but we have the first demo project right so that one i would like to build from the jenkins but the build should happen on my maven server if that is the case we need to create our first job so if you are familiar with the Jenkins, well and good. If not, just follow along with me because I just want to show you how usually we use Jenkins and Maven in the real world. So I'm going to create first demo project and it is a Maven project. Select it. And the next thing is if you scroll down, you can see here there is an option that restrict whether this project can be run. Means if you want to restrict where do you want to run this project that you can mention it over here. Of course, we need to restrict this one on to run on our Maven server, right? Why? Because it is a Java project and Maven server only can able to run. Usually in the real world, you will have multiple uh, slave systems or agent systems. Each system can run one kind of application. If it is a Maven, of course, we can run Java. If it is a Node.js, it runs on other system. If it is a .NET or C Sharp application, it runs on another build server like that it would be so in this case we want to restrict java applications to run on our maven server so select this application and we need to search for our maven system so we have named it as a maven build server so there is no space maven build server okay once this is done we need to give the url of our application so we have our code in our github so select the git and i have already opened our github url so that is revd first demo project and take the copy of the url and provide the url in the github and the next thing branch to build nothing but on which branch this code is available of course it is master even you can go and check it out over here once you have given this one next we need to provide maven version okay there is a error i will talk about this error in a while so we know the goals right that is clean install okay these are the goals we are executing see this error or warning Jenkins need to know where your Maven is installed so far we have installed Maven in our Maven system but our Jenkins server doesn't know that is where global tool configuration comes into the picture there we need to specify where is our Java located where is our git located where is our Maven located all this information we need to provide so let me apply and save this job we cannot able to run this job even though we run it is not going to successful why because we haven't configured our maven server details where our git is located maven is located and java is located so once you save this job let it be the job and go to dashboard and go to manage jenkins here we have a option called global tool configuration so select this option if you scroll down you can see here jdk installations nothing but where is your java here we need to provide the path of java where it is installed on our maven server not on the jenkins server so install automatically i am just disabling it so just go to our maven server so this is our maven server right so we have already configured so this is jenkins and if you do remember java path is there under echo dollar path but i don't think so it will be affected over here because we haven't configured in the jenkins server so we need to search for root bash underscore profile path so sudo cat slash root slash dot bash underscore profile okay so you can see here this is the java home path right just to take this one and provide in the java here name we just need to give java home okay even java 1.8 also i can give okay there is no uh, hard coded value for this but this should be the path of your java home similar way git where exactly does it installed so jenkins is installed okay this is default just uh, this can be anything and uh, if i search for where is uh, git sorry git so this is the path git is installed so let me go to git okay next gradle and ant these all are not required but these plugins we have installed that is the reason it is propagating next thing is maven so where is our maven is installed i'm going to give maven 3.6.3 .3. this is the version we have installed on maven you can check out that under opt okay here we have you can see this is the apache maven 
and this is the path right even you can check the path m2 underscore home path this is the path we need to provide so i don't want to install automatically and give the path that's it with this information we can able to run our job without any issues let's go back to our job first demo project let's build it whenever we build it is going to create a cd minus pwd sorry cd cd tilde pwd i'm under my home jenkins this is the path we have given in our slave configuration right and if i go to workspace here it is going to create the project and build the project which means that it copies the our source code into this location build it and it generates the artifacts out of it so let's build it now and let me open it so it is pulling the code and it started executing you can see goals clean install and it is doing all the jobs okay all right our build is successful i ran it some time back that's the reason all the packages are copied into the local repository that's why there is no issue so build is successful and if i go back to my maven server and if i check for ls you can see here first demo project if i go inside and if i check ls you can see here palm.xml src and target and tree if i give you can see app test dot class even we should have app class okay which is class files are generated after build and if i do ls minus la timestamp also 754 if i do date okay it's just 755 one minute ago it has been created this is how we can able to build our applications from the jenkins okay so in maven we don't use or we don't execute commands directly usually we use integration tool continuous integration tool called jenkins which can interact with our build servers or build systems to build the artifacts hope this has given enough information how the jenkins master and slave does work and also how we can use maven in the real world one last thing i am going to do in the next video that is we are going to build our second demo project as well quickly so that even you can understand little more better how does it work thanks for watching and see you there